Hi, my name is Vayuli and welcome to Brimbank Library's Life Skills video series. Today I'm joined by Justina. Hi. And we're here to learn about sewing basics. So, what tools do you need to start sewing with? So, the very, very basics you'd need, uh, Vayuli, is uh, starting with some good scissors. Some sharp, sharp good scissors to cut your fabric. I also like these little ones for cutting your thread. They're really cute. Uh, obviously pins and something to sit them in. A tomato. Yes, a tomato <laughs> and thread. Any colour you, you like and of course fabric. Can't forget the fabric. Yep, <laughs> no. <laughs> so I see you have a little bit of packages of magazines in front of you. Can can you tell us on what those are? Yeah, and, uh, sure. Where you can find them? Uh, these are patterns and there's a few different ones here. So there's some that I've picked up at Savers. I think these two. They're a bit vintage style, which is really cool. There's also a Vogue pattern. This one's a little bit harder, so I wouldn't suggest that if you're starting off sewing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> and this is really interesting because we've also got Berta style and you can borrow this from our library, uh, any library in Broombank. And it's got all the latest fashion and you can copy the patterns at the back and you can use them. So they're a little bit more complex to read, but it's, it's good, yeah. It's good to even flick through them. So you can just build up to it and that's, get there in the end. That's yeah. it, yeah, that's right. It's always nice to have a look. Okay, so once you've gone to a store and you've purchased your pattern, uh, you'll have a look at the back and it looks like a lot of mumble jumble. <laughs> yep. But the first thing you'd have to look at is your measurements. So it tells you um, here what size you would be and then you can have a look uh, to see what how much material you will need it also tells you what kind of material you'll need so sometimes you'll need a knit sometimes you'll need you know uh, a non-stretch fabric there's it will tell you everything it will tell you all the notions it's like a guide because you don't want to get home and then you don't have all the bits and bobs to start yeah <laughs> Once you've got all your things, you take it out and there's a lot in there. The first thing I would suggest doing is having a look to see, so that you might find that it's got a few different variations of the pattern. Work out which one you're, you're making and then it'll tell you which pattern pieces to cut. So this is a, a guide of how to start. Always have a look at the symbols. So the symbols tell you, you know, if you need to cut, if it's a cut on, cutting line, or if you need to shorten your pattern, it, it tells you where to shorten that. If you need to place your fabric on a fold to cut it, it tells you that as well. And that's really important, otherwise you're gonna come out with half a piece if you don't. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, once you have a read of that and take your time, slowly go through it, the next step is, is your directions. So step by step, go through on how you're going to make it. So your roadmap. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, pretty much. And I think this has got a couple of pages to it. And this, before, before all that, is the actual pattern itself. So you'd open it up. It's quite big, so I won't open it up too much, but that's where you'll end up cutting or tracing if you don't want to ruin this original. So, uh, so as, as well as all these uh, fun uh, patterns and all that, you also bought a sewing machine. So are you able to tell us how we could thread a sewing machine? Yeah, sure. Uh, in regards to starting up the machine, uh, obviously this one's already powered up. Uh, you've got your pedal, I'll just pop that through, so when you press on the pedal that will start sewing, so almost it's like, like a car, yeah, like a car. <laughs> but yeah. not really, <laughs> a sewing car, 
Um, now this one opens up like so. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. Every machine is different but similar. So, I mean, every, you've got different models and, and so on, but the basic threading usually is the same. Uh, now, the first thing you need to do is put this one in there, and then like so. And most sewing machines will show you the numbers. So as you can see, you've got one, two, and then it goes three, four, and all the way down. Oh, yep, so it, you just follow the numbers, really. It's pretty simple. You go around, down, and up. Four, five. Ooh. Can't see what I'm doing. Sorry, I just have to turn that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Very important that you watch what you're doing. Needles are sharp. That's right. Oh, it's here. Just get stuck. So there's a six there, and then seven, and then just tuck it down like that. This, then you press that at the end. This one's a self-threading one, so you don't have to actually muck around. It, the thread goes straight through the hole of the needle. Yeah, so it's a bit of a fancy one, but sometimes if you get the basic model, you have to just thread it through. <laughs> but yes, that's good. Uh, the next thing is the bobbin, and the bobbin sits underneath. And that goes up like that, and then you just close it. So you need thread underneath and on top. <laughs> and that's it, and you're pretty much ready to go. So now that you've actually thread the machine, can you show us all on how to actually sew with it? Yeah, of course. So I'll show you the basic stitches today. There's obviously a lot of stitches you can choose from, uh, some are zigzag and so on and so on. But the very basic stitch is just a straight stitch. Um, so, excuse me, I'll just pull this closer. So you get your fabric. Pop it in and under, uh, and then put the foot down. And you press down on your pedal to make the foot move. Get your hands away, obviously, as much as possible, and then you just go down. Now, once you've done a few stitches, I've always said to go back a few stitches, just to secure all of your stitches. So I've got a button here, which you can't see, sorry. <laughs> but there's a button that says, go back and I touch on that and just go back a bit and then forward. And then just go. And then once you've ended your stitching, you do the same back and then forward a few. And then you can cut it. So this one's got a cutting device, so you just have to press some scissors and it cuts it for you. Okay, and that's it. So there's your basic, basic stitch. Oh, okay. Basic. <laughs> so thank you, Justina, for this demonstration. I'm sure I'm going to be using it. Uh, I spent too much money during COVID lockdown, so I need to make my own clothes. Yay. Watch <laughs> <Vogue. Go laughs> So thank you for joining us for the Brimbank Library's Life Skills video series. Be sure to check out the other episodes on our Broombank Library's YouTube channel. Bye!